Welcome to Fostering Resilience, I'm KJ Foster. In today's video, I'm sharing with you 10 ways to strengthen your emotional resilience. Have you ever felt your emotions so intensely that they completely override your rational thinking, such as a panic attack, for example? These extreme emotional reactions bypass your thinking brain and produce super quick instinctive responses when this happens, it's often referred to as emotional hijacking. Emotional hijacking happens to people every day, to varying degrees. It doesn't have to manifest as a full-blown panic attack or a loss of your temper. In today's world, we live our lives at such a fast pace that we're often on the verge of being emotionally hijacked for hours at a time especially when we're in a stressful or potentially aggravating situation that has gone badly in the past. In these types of situations, our emotional synapses can be firing in preparation for a major attack, which produces an ongoing stress response that is detrimental to our overall health and well-being. Luckily, we can learn emotional resilience, which is the ability to adapt to adversities with greater ease. It's a trait that you can develop and strengthen. Here are 10 ways you can strengthen your emotional resilience and minimize emotional hijacking. Number one, identify. Learn to identify which types of situations make you uncomfortable and then alter your behavior to make the best of your circumstances and minimize any potential for emotional hijacking. Number two, awareness. Number two stems from number one. In number one, you're identifying the situations that make you feel uncomfortable. And in number two, you're becoming aware of the behaviors of other people that may cause you to become uncomfortable or respond negatively. As you're unlikely to be able to change the other person, you must be able to modify your own behavior to turn the situation into a positive experience. Number three, take responsibility. Take responsibility for your own behavior and be willing to apologize for errors in judgment or insensitive actions. Number four, seek feedback. Ask others you trust for honest feedback about the way you interact with them. Accept the negative feedback along with the positive and make changes accordingly. Number five, body language. Be aware of your body language. Nonverbal communication is as important as the things we say. Positive body language is an asset in your interactions with others. Number six, listen. Learn to listen with genuine interest. Fight the urge to respond immediately or think about your response while the other person is still talking. Really listen to what the other person is trying to say and allow them time to finish without interruption. Number seven, practice. Accept that improving your skills is not an overnight process. Trying to improve or change too many things at once will be counterproductive as you'll feel so uncomfortable that you may suffer an emotional hijacking as the result. Number eight, maximize the positive. Maximize your positive personality traits and use them to your advantage when interacting with others. Number nine, social support. Build connections with others and prioritize those relationships. Join a community-based group. Surround yourself with people who will help to support your overall health and well-being and minimize being around those who you know have the potential to trigger an emotional hijacking. Number 10, manage your thoughts. Meditation, affirmations, and other spiritual practice will help you manage your thinking and maintain a positive and hopeful outlook. This will further strengthen your ability to accept the setbacks that we all face as a part of life. Do you know any other ways to strengthen emotional resilience? 
If you do, share your experience in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Also, be sure to check out more videos by Fostering Resilience. Thanks for watching today. Namaste.